Hey guys, Quantum here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at getting the best armor set in the game for female characters, in my opinion, just because it's the most fashionable. But this is going to be the rogue armor set that you get from pure white world tendency in the Tower of Latria or the Archstone of the Tower Queen, indicated by the pure white glowing aura on the eye below the Archstone. So once you get pure white world tendency, what you're going to want to do is teleport over to Upper Latria. And what's going to happen here is there'll be a unique wooden bridge that spawns in the first cauldron that's holding up the giant heart in the middle of the tower so just follow the pathway that i'm taking here and it will lead you directly to where you need to go it can be a little confusing at first but again it's just natural story progression so just follow this path and you'll get right to where you need to be it's where you get, it's where you take the first elevator up uh, and fight the dredglings that are shooting magic at the cauldron to hold up like i said the heart in the middle of the uh, tower the nice thing about this as well is all you need to do is obtain pure white world tendency and the bridge will spawn and even if you lose pure white world tendency or you forget about it and then you know your world goes neutral or something as long as you hit pure white world tendency at one point in the tower of latria the bridge will remain and the whole point of this bridge is that it gives you access to the special key that unlocks Rydell's cell. Now, when you unlock Rydell's cell, the debris that is blocking um, the other side of the prison cells where Rydell is, or the floor where Rydell is, will also be gone. And that means you can get some unique items like the witch's hat and some other things from those cells. And in addition to that, if you don't kill Rydell after you unlock his cell, what you'll be able to do is take the special locked um, staircase i guess you could say that's down by where the giant enemy with all the hands is i'll show you what i mean if you watch this video to the to the end but you'll be able to take that special gate unlock that special gate and take it up take the staircases up to a special area where there'll be three jailers and that's where you get the rogue armor set so again just follow this video and uh you'll see where you can get everything that you need to get and we don't need the cling ring equipped anymore So you're coming up to the first area here. Again, this is where you take out those first dredglings down at the bottom after you take the first elevator up. And this is the bridge that won't spawn until you hit pure white world tendency. So again, once you hit pure white world tendency, this bridge will stay there no matter if you lose world white tendency, pure white world tendency later on in the level. But you're gonna make your way up the staircase and you'll get a unique key right here that unlocks Rydell's cell. So after this, you can just go back to the Nexus and load up the first Archstone. And then follow the same path that I'm gonna take here in order to free Rydell. So power of, uh, or pr prison of, of hope. Not power. So you should have beaten all these levels, obviously. So just take a uh, hard left. I believe that's a left, right? No, it's a right. Hard right. <laughs> uh, anyways, go up the, the unlocked gate, up the stairs. And follow the same path. This guy wasn't showing up on my screen for some reason. I'm probably just blind even though I got new glasses recently. Now you don't really need to kill these jailers, but they give you a decent amount of souls on New Game Plus. And in pure white world tendency, they're, they're the weakest that they'll ever be. So again, actually, you know what? If you haven't done so already, make sure you free Frage, uh, Sage Frake, who's locked up in one of these cages over here. And you get his key um, when you kill the dredgling that's above the fool's idol. There's a key in that room. 
that you should make sure that you get when you before you fight the fool's idol uh, when you kill that dredgling up there. All right. So once you kind of run through this area, you'll have another staircase going down, but Rydell is going to be in the second last floor, and there will be a very powerful enemy. Oh my goodness. Be very careful. These jailers, they do hurt. Thankfully, they don't one-shot me. I just wanted to come near me. They definitely changed the dynamics of the pole weapons uh, from the original PS3 game. Alright, so here's Rydell. He gives you the dull rat ring. And you just want to leave him alone. But what you'll notice here is the, the debris that was previously blocking this area is now gone. And you can unlock these cells with the same key that you just picked up in uh, Upper Latria. And you'll get a few neat items. Moonlight Shard. cornered hat which kind of set the precedent for all the souls games in my opinion because the witch's hat is by far the coolest uh head apparel that you can equip on any character in any souls game that allows it it's one of the reasons actually it is the reason why i mainly only use female characters in souls games is because um in demon souls when i played it on ps3 i just found that all the coolest armor was basically equipped with uh with female characters so the three-cornered hat is definitely one and you're about to see the second best piece of or not really second but the other best pieces of equipment that you can equip on female characters in my personal opinion so after you free ride down you get those cells make your way down to the ground floor this is you'll know you're at the right floor because this giant guy shooting the magic has the 100 million arms will also be here and he'll be trying to destroy you. So he's not too bad to take out. We're gonna get the lizard over here, even though we're in pure white world tendency. Basically this lizard drops three moonlight shards, but it also has a chance of dropping a chunk if you have a uh, dark world tendency. So you should be able to unlock this gate with the key, but once you run up these staircases, you won't be able to unlock the other gate unless you've freed Rydell and have not killed him. So that's the key, because I usually kill Rydell because I want to change the world to pure black, but you can see here that I'm able to open this because I have not killed him. So these will... Some of, these case, some of these prisons will be locked and you'll have to get the key that's at the end of this prison area and there's basically three jailers that you're going to have to fight your way through. So you can see here, this is locked. But I'll get the key basically on the other end there. Um, and that cell in the, in the far end has the key. So that's what we're going to look to get. But we're going to have to make our way through these three jailers here first. way to kill him and since I get spice from killing them anyways why not my max capacity when it comes to spice so I might as well use them up max capacity in my storage that is all right so there's another one replenish the spice and there's the last jailer we're gonna surprise him. When you use Firestorm in a, in a small hallway like that, you can see the flames basically engulf everything uh, in the immediate vicinity. 
Alright, so the key is gonna be in this cell right here. So it's the second last cell. And this key, along with the legendary hero soul. But this key will allow you to unlock every cell on this floor. And get the best looking armor for the female character in Demon Souls. I believe this is it right here. This one right here. No, it's not. It's the next cell. Mercury Stone Trunk as well. Not bad. It's got to be uh, this cell right there. But we'll just unlock this one for good measure. There you go. The Rogue set with the Parrying Dagger. Again, in my opinion, one of the nicest armors in the game. With the cape. Very lightweight, no stamina penalty. Very, 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 very nice with the witch's hat. Wish I had better lighting to show you guys, but I mean, come on, invading in this set or PVPing in this set, it just it looks so nice. This is this is where Fashion Souls started for me, guys, back in 2009 on Demon Souls. Look at this, so dope. Anyways, uh, let's continue to get these cells and then wrap up this video. So we are on about 11 and a half minutes. You can see all the items you get from the Prison of Hope Archstone when you have Pure White World Tendency and you do not kill Rydell after you free him. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, one of the interesting things about uh, Demon Souls on the PS5 is that you are able to respec your character gender. <laughs> um, and because of that, you can, if you had a male character and you want to use this armor, you can switch to a female character at the cost of some souls. Uh, and vice versa, if you want to use like the um, ancient breastplate, uh, basically King Doran's armor, you can also switch from female to male. Uh, but that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Quantum is out.